Hey you! So recently I posted a video on my on how I organize my makeup and in that video I show my nails a lot so um, I actually got requested to do a nail tutorial so I didn't really do a lot for <laughs> those nails all I really did was apply a couple coats of um, nail polish so the nail polish that I used for that was Heartthrow by Nails Inc. London, um, and this is just matte, this is a matte color, and I got this at Sephora for $5, so that's what I was wearing on my nails, um, but I'm not going to use that today, I'm actually going to do something else to my nails, all I'm basically showing you is how I get my nails, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this, so to get started you'll need a couple things, and uh, the things you'll need are some fake nails, and these I got at Family Dollar for a dollar, um, Next thing you need is nail glue, and this one I got for $2 at Family Dollar. Um, and then you need some nail clippers, and this one's really tiny. It's the only one that I found, so if you have a bigger one, I suggest you use a bigger one. And the next thing you'll need are some nail files. Um, just You want some to file down the edges just so they won't be sharp and cut you or anything like that. Um, and the last thing you'll need, obviously, is a nail color. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, you just want to go ahead and take a, like a nail and try to fit it to your finger. And if it fits perfectly, you don't have to do anything. But if it fits a little big, like it overlaps a little bit, then just go ahead and file down the edges. Just a little bit. Do it little by little, so that way you won't file off too much. And then if it's too small, you know. Here we go. That's a lot better. I don't know if you guys can see, because my camera doesn't focus. Um, but, you know, you just want to file down. And you want to do that for the rest of your nails. And I really recommend that you do this before you glue them down, just so it'll make that process a lot easier. So once you filed down all of your nails and... Um, you're ready to glue them on. Make sure that your fingers are clean, so make sure you take off any old nail polish. So just go ahead and take a little bit of the glue and put it not too close to the edge that's going to go closest to your cuticle. You, um, you just want to put it a little bit, a little bit more in. So I don't know. You guys can't see because my camera doesn't focus. But so you just kind of want to glue that on there. And then you just want to hold it down for a couple seconds. Make sure that the glue is not touching your skin. Because if not, it'll get stuck to your skin. And we don't want that. So just want to hold it down. You don't need a lot of glue. The less you use, that's better. So then you just glue that down. And you just want to go ahead and glue the rest of your nails. So once you got them glued down, they should look something like this. And they still have, you know, the little, like the little pointy parts. So you want to go ahead and cut them down to whatever size you want them to be. I like mine pretty short, so I always cut them really short. Um, I always start with my pinky, but you can start with your thumb, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you just want to go ahead and cut, let's say, half of the nail. This is why I recommend using a bigger one, and then do the other half. And then it should come off pretty easily. And then do the rest. Start off on one half. And then do the other. And so you just want to continue that on for the rest of the nail. So once you've cut them, you should have something like this. And you have some jagged edges. Um, just because. So what you want to do then is file them down to, if you want square or round or whatever, um, then you can just go ahead and file them down. I like them square, so I kind of just file them like straight like this. And then you kind of just curve the sides a little bit just to um, get rid of that sharpness. You just So then you just want to do that for the rest of your nail. So once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Um, yeah, and that's basically all you need to do to get nails. And, I mean, you can really save yourself a lot of money by doing them yourself um, if you have the time. 
So um, then once you've done that, you can just decorate them however you want, and you can use whatever nail polish you want. Um, I'm actually going to do mine black and white, so I'm not going to do this um, in this video. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this was helpful. Till next time. Bye.